Hey, what's up? This is Casey with another episode of Chill Room Happening 4. Today's shirt of the day is a blue shirt. I have a lot of things to talk about today, so I'm going to get moving. So, I'm going to talk about some of my first jobs and filling out job applications and everything, because that's what I'm doing right now. My first job, I was walking down the street, or got driving down the street, and I saw somebody hang up a sign saying, we need some help. I walked in, filled out a job application. They gave me a job interview, and I got a job at Kentucky Fried Chicken. I learned a lot of stuff. I like to tell people this is my most important job ever. It taught me to show up on time. It taught me to be clean. It taught me to work with people, even people I don't like. The kid I got my first, my first fist fight ever uh, worked with me, and we ended up being really good friends at the end of the, the summer. Uh, we couldn't even remember why we got in a fist fight, but it was you know, ages ago. Um, I learned that people, no matter how hard you work or how well you do your job, people think you're stupid because you work, you know, you're a teenager. I was 16 years old and I worked at KFC, so people just automatically thought I was stupid. People hold grudges against you, even for no reason. Uh, I don't even know if my boss graduated high school, but my football team beat her football team one time when she was in high school. So she didn't like me, so I always had to clean the toilets and do all the awful, disgusting work. Um, and then the next job I did was telemarketing, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the third job I did. The third job I did was working as a lifeguard. Being a lifeguard was awesome. I woke up in the morning and I went swimming for swim practice, changed out of my Speedos and into my lifeguarding gear. I taught swim lessons. I lifeguarded. I got the greatest tan ever. I basically hung out with my high school swim team buddies and I thought I made a gajillion dollars every single day. You know, we talked about, uh, you know, our favorite movies, which was pretty, you know, the swim team guys all loved Star Wars. We all loved video games and, you know, we get, liked drinking and swimming and lifting weights and uh, trying to figure out how to meet girls, but we never really did. Um, but there was one guy who was really strange, not strange, but he was very different than us. He liked yoga. He liked books about thinking and meta stuff. He was a world traveler. I grew up in Bismarck, North Dakota, so he went to places you know, all over the world. That's why he worked. Uh, he didn't just think about meeting girls, he actually met girls and he did stuff with those girls. And one time after his world travels, he got a tattoo. I have tattoos now, but when I was, I didn't get a tattoo until I was, until I was 21. Uh, so when I was maybe, I can't remember when he got this tattoo, but let's just say I was 17 or 18 and he got this tattoo. And I said, hey, Billy, why did you get a swastika tattoo? And he said, no, bro, this is a the Hindu slash Buddhist peace symbol. This is all about peace, bro. Like, uh, that really looks like a swastika tattooed on your leg. No, man, this is all about peace. You don't understand. And, you know, granted, these are not the same thing. And they don't mean the same thing, but they look very much alike. And all you have to do is kind of cock them a little bit. And, you know, granted, one of them is 
mirrored, but I always wondered, has this guy been explaining this to every person? Oh no, bro, this isn't, oh no, bro, oh no, bro, this isn't a swastika. Or has he completely covered up this tattoo? I always thought he was a super nice guy. Uh, I know he didn't get, he didn't intend it to be a swastika, but I'm sure a thousand people, you know, anybody who saw, I think it was on his leg, anybody who saw his leg just instantly thinks that guy's a Nazi. If you go to Asia, all over Asia, you see this sign. This sign and this sign are not the same thing, but, you know, you can easily mistake that for that. Um, but, I would, even though I believe in peace, even though I believe in some Buddhism, that Buddhism things, I would never get this thing tattooed. I would never wear this on a t-shirt or hang this flag outside my house. Um, and I think the you know places around the world right now are you know especially the USA are having real big issues with you know what are we talking about? What are we doing with? symbols that we've got going on are these flags that are these flags and monuments and statues and crap like that and you gotta think okay maybe this is completely harmless to many people for thousands of years but for 50 years for 5 years for 10 years this was the most horrific thing in the world to see. Even though these things don't necessarily mean the same thing, they're pretty terrifying to see. So you gotta sometimes respect that. Uh, you know, I drew this out of fun. I, today, it was supposed to be fun for this little video and I was still pretty disgusted and I'm still afraid, you know, my boss is gonna see this and my garbage can and wonder what the hell he's in. Am I doing it in my free time? <laughs> so, as for a confederate flag, you know, I used to get asked all the time what I think about this, and I had to repeat over and over. I know my accent might fun sound funny to people in New York City, but I come from Bismarck, North Dakota, which is about as far from the south as you can get. I'm basically Canadian. Um, so, the only thing that the rebel flag, that the confederate flag means to me is I thought it was cool because I had the, the car, the miniature car, the Robert E. Lee car from the Dukes of Hazzard. Because I thought the car was cool because it could jump over stuff. And they got in through the windows. But that was the only reason I thought it was cool, you know. So, maybe this, maybe you got a little bit of history with, you know, your families are rebels or something. You gotta think of other people uh, and how they view that flag. You know, look at, you know, try to think of their feelings. You know, I know this is Buddhist, but I would never show this, you know, to, you know, it's a Buddhist peace symbol, but I would never show my Jewish friends this, be like, oh, hey, let's get this tattoo. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing in the world, all right? So... We're trying to, to go forward in our in our country's history instead of stay backwards and stay in this civil war crap. So I, I don't understand why we're still with this civil war 
of stuff. All right, that's all I have to say. I hope you liked the video. I hope you have something to think about it. I hope you have something to say about it. If you like the video, please hit like. If you don't like the video, please hit don't like. Send me a comment, send me a message or something. Thanks a lot. Good enough. Bye.